In this tutorial video, I'm gonna walk you through step one to step done on how I personally use Jasper AI to create blog posts. Jasper AI is sort of like a writing assistant and AI language learning model that can be used to generate blog posts quickly and easily. It comes with a wide range of helpful features like already pre-built prompts, being able to set a tone of voice, as well as being able to easily expand and rewrite paragraphs at the click of a button. Now, I don't suggest that you rely on Jasper AI 100% to create your blog posts. You really should have some type of experience, expertise, authority, and trust over your topic and be using Jasper AI as sort of like a writing assistant to help you create content more quickly. Anyways, if you're ready to get started, let's jump into my laptop and begin. Welcome to my laptop, let's begin. So this is Jasper AI. Now, in order to create a blog post with Jasper AI, you're obviously going to need to create an account. So let's click over here for pricing or you can click on free trial as well. But the pricing page over here has a few different plans. So they have business teams and creator. I do suggest the creator plan. You get a seven day free trial. Upon clicking the button, just create your account. So this is your Jasper AI dashboard. So let's get to work creating content. So to get started with that, it's very simple. You just click on the button that says create content and will pop up with this light box that gives you a few different options. So a blank document creates a document that's completely blank and then you can ask the AI to generate paragraphs and sentences as needed. New template is a bunch of AI prompts that are already pre-built into Jasper and also community made. New blog post is what I like when creating a new blog post because it's just builds out a rough 500 to 700 word rough draft article. Then arts is a way to just generate pictures for your blog post. So let's go ahead and click on new blog post. Now up top here, we have a few different things. So you have your blog topic right there. So what is the topic about you? So the more you write in here, the more it can generate over here, the more it understands like what you're trying to create. So I just have a very simple question. Like, should I use a country code? Should I use a country code domain name for my website? So that means like, should I use like, if I'm Canadian, should I have my law firm be .ca or should it be .com? Like which, when do you go with the country code? So I know the answer to that. And the answer is like, if your website's based in, you know, if your traffic and website's based in a country and it's specifically targeting that country, then that's when you'd want to go with a country code domain name. Then the tone of voice over here, professional. Intending the audience. So we'll just change this to actually, uh, business, online business owner, online business. Keep it simple. There we go. Anyways, let's go ahead and generate content. Okay. So now we have a blog post over here. So we have the introduction body and pros and cons and other issues along with that need to be included in the article. So it's quite good for a basic article over here. And then we have the conclusion. So quite good rough draft article that we can begin editing and adjusting to our liking. So if you want to generate an article again, you can just keep clicking this button, generate content, generate content to, again, just to generate multiple versions, change things like the tone of voice and an audience, maybe write more about the topic, make it more specific. And also you have the language output options down here. This is just if you're writing in another language, input language is English, output languages in Spanish. You can do that totally fine. Anyways, when you're ready to proceed, click on this and then everything will pop up here. You want to click on copy. You can also open in Google Docs and favorite this and whatnot, but I'm going to copy this. And next, I want to go over here to create content, then navigate to blank documents. And next, I like to copy and paste this in right here to the blank document. And now we can begin expanding the article. Okay, so let's begin editing our blog post. So there's a few things that we can do within Jasper. So the first thing that we can do is that within each of these paragraphs, if you click on it, you'll notice at the very end down here, you'll see a little arrow that allows you to continue writing. If you just click on that, what Jasper does is just continues and expands on the idea of the paragraph and gives you more content. Sometimes it goes off the rails a little bit and starts writing things that don't make sense a little bit. So you do have to pay attention and read it and make sure it doesn't also create duplicate content like to what's already written down there. But it is a nice, very effective way to add on additional content and make your article longer. In addition to expanding each article by using the continue writing feature, you can just straight up ask Jasper to write something. So if I navigate down here as an example, I can click over here to click the plus sign, then tell Jasper what to write. So this is an article 
on the topic of should I use a country code domain name for my website. So I really strongly suggest you use Jasper as a writing assistant, then you should already kind of understand this topic and know what needs to be included, what needs to be covered. But sometimes it is helpful to ask Jasper like, hey, like what should I include in this? So please write an outline for a blog post on should I use a country code specific domain name. There we go. Then Jasper will create a quick little outline. And this gives you ideas of like what needs to be included within the piece of content that you got going on over here. So we do have like the introduction right there. And then we have introducing the concept of a country code domain name. What is a country code domain name? Advantages, disadvantages, conclusion. And so again, you can just take these elements and kind of improve SEO rankings, easier discoverability, trust building, and so forth. Then you just structure that within to this piece of content that you got going on up top here. So again, you will have to start deleting things like the blog introduction. And then you can also adjust this where I want that to be maybe the H1 title tag at the very top right there. And then we have the blog post body. So like what is a country code domain name? That looks great. Okay. Pros of using country code domain name cons. Good. So just make sure everything's kind of included within the outline. Then also just use your professional judgment. Like, is this everything that you would need? And then just make sure that this is kind of covered within the blog post that's going on up top here. And also, like if there's things that are not added, you can add them in yourself. So, for example, like how do I buy a country code specific domain name? Because some countries have rules on that. And so it should be that should be covered. That should be like right above the conclusion. So advantages, disadvantages, like how to buy. Duh. Like, <laughs> you know, it's not going to be perfect. You need to know what you're talking about. So like, how do I buy a country code specific domain name? How do I buy a country code specific domain name? And then it will generate a paragraph that you can just begin editing and adjusting as you need for within the blog post, but it's very good. So perfect. Great. So check requirements. Some countries have this requirement and that requirement for things, you know, you can't know, not anyone can just register like a .ca, like .ca requires you to actually have a Canadian presence. As an example, you can't just, <laughs> you can't just go to a domain name register and register a .ca little things like this. And like, this is important. And so then I can take this and then I can edit it myself and add text as I want, or I can use the continue writing feature. So check the requirements. Okay. So add to expand on this. So complete purchase. Okay. And so, okay. It didn't come out as well as I want. So you got to be careful. So we can always click back to make sure just revert all changes. In addition to telling Jasper what to write, you can also highlight a paragraph or a sentence or whatever. So for example, I'll highlight this sentence section right there. I can ask Jasper and I can improve the writing, change the tone, change the length, repurpose the content, translate. So you can change the tone. So you have casual, conversational, engaging, friendly, as well as your own specific brand voices that you create and then change the length. You can make it shorter, longer, summarize, repurpose the content, change this into a Facebook post, LinkedIn post, keywords, meta description, title, tweet, SEO enhanced version. And you can also translate this. So change it into a different language like German, Italian, Portuguese, Russian, Spanish, and so forth. Okay, so I just spent the last 10 minutes using Jasper AI to generate this blog post. It's now up to almost 1,700 words. And so should I use a country code domain for my website? What is a country code domain? What, who should use a country code specific domain name? Then I had it generate a paragraph. The pros I got from that little outline that it generated. Who should not use a country code specific domain name? It generated this paragraph right here. The cons I got again from the little outline that I generated. Then how to buy a country code specific domain name. Literally just use the Ask Jasper feature and it created this. Then examples of country code specific domain names. Again, I just use literally the Ask Jasper function. All I did was this. Examples of country code specific domain names. Go. <laughs> and here we go. So we got this example right there. Then frequently asked questions about country code specific domain names. We can delete that. So frequently asked questions and FAQ. Again, I just asked Jasper AI, FA, create an FAQ for uh, the specific topic. There we go. Now we have this example right there. And then the conclusion that was originally generated with the one shot blog post 
Uh, there we go. So anyways, let me go ahead and delete this. And we got a good rough draft. So we got 1,000, almost 1,600 words now, 1,591 words. And now the next step is to copy and paste this into Grammarly. So this is Grammarly.com. So I do pay for Grammarly and with a paid subscription, I get access to sentence rewrites. And in addition to that, Grammarly gives spelling, grammar, and punctuation suggestions. Now, Jasper AI does have a Grammarly integration over here, but I've had a better results just taking the blog post and copying and pasting it into Grammarly over here. Then all you have to do is just click a bunch of buttons. Really that simple. So just read it, just read the change, click on accept, open this up, rephrase that, click over here, accept, rephrase the sentence, rewrite for clarity and so forth. So just go through the blog post with Grammarly and improve it based on all of these suggestions. So I went ahead and copied the blog post from Grammarly into my WordPress dashboard and we're almost there. So now the next step that I like to follow is to add in images as needed to the blog post. Now I never use images for decorative purposes. I only use images to demonstrate what it is I'm talking about. And I suggest you do the same. Again, it's your website, you can do whatever you want. But again, I don't use images just to decorate the blog post unnecessarily. Anyway, so with Jasper AI, what's really helpful is that you actually can create images very quickly if you need specific types of image, images that you're having trouble finding. So click over here to create content and then click over here where it says new art. And now over here, we can generate art in a free form fashion. You also have access to templates as well. So if I click over here for like realistic person, then this changes over here so it's realistic person create a photo genetic portrait of a person description of what the person wants to look you want the person to look like and so forth anyways i'm going to go over here to free form i have typed in the haizang loop vietnam so it's this really incredible area up in northern vietnam that's an incredible motorbike ride now over here you can have mood medium inspiration so mood is it calm exciting fun gloomy medium is it collage ink mixed media inspiration so andy warhol clyde manette whatever you have the style keywords language and you can also drag and drop in images over here for it to base its output based on whatever image you provide so anyways i have haizang loop over here let's go ahead and generate art and that looks very good so if i have a travel blog here we go so i have a bunch of different images that are quite useful for creating a thumbnail or adding images into the blog post itself. So let's go ahead and try a template just to see what it outputs. So we have travel photography over here and I wanna put in the Hai Zong loop. Now I know it's, it's G, but it is pronounced Hai Zong. Anyways, let's go ahead and create arts. And there we go. So now we have a couple photo realistic images that we can use. But anyways, that's what you can do with Jasper AI. You can create AI generated images as you need for your blog post. And finally, the last step is a final edit. So you as the publisher of your website really should be going through this blog post to make sure everything is accurate and correct, as well as fix a little bit of some quirks that AI writing tends to produce, like adding in a lot of exclamation marks and adding in rhetorical questions and saying weird things like, hey, friend, blah, blah, blah. Like you want to go through it, make sure it's written correctly. It's what you actually believe based on your experience and expertise that it's formatted correctly, it flows well, it's easy to read, you don't have any dense paragraphs, just make sure to produce a really high quality piece of content that actually solves the problem that the end visitor has. So does this piece of content address this issue as best it can? Should I use the country code domain name for my website? Yes or no? So that's why you wanna make sure that, okay, does this piece of content address this without any fluff, it gets right to the point and so forth. So I know the final edit is not the most exciting thing to do, but a manual edit I do think is required to take that article from mediocre to something that's worthy of being published. Now, keep in mind that we were able to publish a 1,700 word article in about 12 minutes. It literally took me 12 minutes to create this or so. And then we'll say maybe 20 minutes entire workflow from start to finish to get it to this point where I'm at the final edit section. And now just spend the time required to do a final edit. And it's pretty impressive what you're able to create with using an AI tool as a writing assistant. It really does allow you to crank out a high quality blog post 
every single day without mentally draining yourself. All right, everyone, that's it for this tutorial video on how to create a blog post with Jasper AI. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, consider subscribing. My name is David. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.